uh, how's going on lads in this video I'm going to show you how we can use AR kit in Flutter it's a simple project which we will make a sample kind of uh, AR project uh, by using some earth image kind of stuff so what we're going to expect is like somewhat like a sphere with an image texture and rotation animation that's what we are going to do here this video is brought to you by SafeCat. let's jump into it make it very simple so just follow the steps so step one what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project from the Android studio so it's here like option when you click new flutter project from the Android studio here you can find the option so the SDK path will be of flutter and click next uh, I'm going to just name the project as uh, let's say AR sample or whatever you like you can name it and uh, I'm going to build the project uh, folder path so let me create uh, find this uh, let me find the flutter project folder for me and I'm going to create a folder which is of same like AR sample and I'm going to open from here and the platform you can see that I'm going to use here uh, iOS because AR kit is mainly for the iOS and uh, AR core is there for Android uh, even though uh, so in this video I'm just focusing on the AR kit and uh, showing the demo for iOS in the upcoming videos let me try with the uh, AR core alright so I'm checking other stuff and the uh, language will be of Kotlin uh, for the uh, uh, Android and the iOS will be of Zip. All right, so from here, I'm going to create the project. Uh, our sample must be under paste. All right, so our, we are creating the Flutter new project. So this is step one. In this step, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll be going to the Flutter package stuff, which is we are going to use this. So this is about ARKit plugin, and uh, from there, uh, what we are going to try to do over here is we're going to rely on an Earth image. So you just uh, click on from here. You can right click. Uh, it will go to uh, this page with the Earth image and uh, from here you can find the name of this uh, the sphere with an image texture and the rotation animation so you can find here click right click uh, you can find the option to use the sample code from here so this is where we're going to use these are all the stuffs that we're going to use in this video actually so I'll be providing the link of these three uh, in the video description you can find that so in this step uh, step two so what I'm going to do here is uh, let me install the package so go from here click this go into your Android studio from the terminal open the terminal and just say paste it over this and enter so once you're done with this uh, after completing this if you're going and checking if you go and check on the pub spec uh, you can find a new guy over there that will be this uh, plugin all right so let's wait for this uh, it's in the progress of uh, installing the package all right that's done I'm going to pop spec YAML here like this I guess you can find this option and what you need to do next is click on this pub get that's it to make sure that we are ready with the package all right uh, then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to import this uh, we can do this later it's okay no problem uh, next thing is uh, step 3 what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download the image uh, from this so this is the image which I'm going to download so right click from here you can find option like save image as so I'm going to save this image as uh, earth in my desktop and here we go and then what next is um, I'm going to uh, Android studio and uh, from here I'm going to create a new directory to save this uh, image so so click new and I'm going to do is directory select this option I'm going to name it as images right so 
yeah here we go and now I'm going to track this image which I have downloaded from there to this uh, folder so just click on this one and just drag it you can find this refrag symbol easy as symbol that's it I'm going to pubspec yaml file and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this guy over there all right so from here and this one and images so our folder name is images slash and the file name is earth jpeg file all right so let's do pubget over here and let's come back to main.storyboard for that there is some space yeah okay from here yeah this is correct make sure the spaces are being correct all right step four let's say make uh, some dirty in our hand by writing some code so here we go let's come back to the main dot uh, dot file and so what I'm going to do here is let me do some stuff so this is going to the increment part so I'm just going to remove all these sites because I'm not going to use this and let's get rid of all these as well from here to the all right okay then so let me remove this as well okay here and now I'm going to this part which is I shown you already there's a source code from here which is we are going to do the earth stuff so let's go to this example and find their uh, not here sorry read me inside this uh, I'm going to use I would like to recommend the sample by using the <coughs> earth stuff with a spear uh, image texture so from this I go to this code which is the source code and I'm just going to copy these stuffs from here and I'm going to paste it in our source code simple we already have this material okay now I'm going to initialize this AR kit controller and also the timer the AR kit is for the controller and the timer is for nothing but uh, for the rotation actually for the earth purpose then I'm going to copy this stuff then I'm going to paste it over here inside this here we go that's it I think uh, we are right when we are ready and uh, next thing is uh, just uh, we have the thing which is for the in from the body what I what is doing is it's a having a container from the container is going to the air scene view so in the air scene view we have uh, air view created so this part is getting into it and our image name is earth.jpg so it's here jpg J, let's make it jpeg all right and then uh, this is having this uh, air kit controller uh, so it will diffuse the material property with the image over there then it goes for the radius kind of stuff then goes the vector which is the which position you know in the in the surface act actually and then comes that finally comes the timer which is for the auto rotation uh, with so point zero one seconds it will be rotating in the x direction for every 50 milliseconds all right so these all done step five this is the final step um, in which we are going to check for the permission to use the AR camera right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to this iOS um, where I can find uh, info plist uh, let me check for that 
all right here we go i have the info.plist what i'm going to do here is i'm just uh, asking for the permission to use the ar for the camera okay so in order to do that let me copy from this and let's come back to the android studio and from here let's make some space and just paste it that's it so okay um so here i'm going to show you that this app needs ar here all right that's it now i'm going back to main.file and finally we want to check everything is ready or no yeah we have this ready to go so let me run and check what we have done so far that's the final step so i'm checking for my device all right yeah i have connected my device over here so you can click, click this play button and uh, start running before doing that that uh, i just have a suggestion you go to the xcode and check for the what do you call it uh, this professional all these things which means that if you have, if you need to run on the device uh, we need to check for the sign in all the capabilities all right so in order to do that i'm going to the xcode and from here sign in capabilities i'm just uh, changing the bundle identifier Let's make this professional profile simple you don't need to have a paid developer account you just have you need to have a normal developer account that will enable you to run in the real device for two applications that's it so now let's me run and check all right comment this as well here we go we have the final output this is what it looks like uh, we have a sphere of this uh, earth image and it's be it will be rotating uh through 360 degree all right so that's all in this video and uh, if this video helps just uh, i recommend to subscribe for upcoming uh, ar videos in flutter that's all thank you for watching let's see you in the next video